The wait is over because Top Chef Season 21 airs tonight on Bravo, and we have another chef representing Chicago. She is a two-time James Beard-nominated chef and the 2019 recipient of the Jean Bonchet for Rising Chef of the Year. We welcome Chef Alicia Elens from Whisk the Night Away. Hello, Chef. Hi. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. It's great to have two representing Chicago in this show. It is. Yeah. yeah. No, so it did you is. did you know each other? Did you know? Kalina? Not before, no. Now, yes. We just Very had well. Kalina Very Bliss well. on. Let's give the audience some context. We just had Kalina Bliss on, who's another yeah. um, contestant on the show. So did you guys bond during that experience? We did. It's funny. She runs Cindy's now. Mm -hmm. And for, like, right before she started, I used to run Cherry Circle Room down on the second floor. Oh, yeah. Same hotel. Okay. So the industry so, well, yeah. is like, it's small, but you gotta it's be big. nice to people. Trading yeah. Places, <laughs> trading so when places. we made the connection, we were like, oh, cool, okay. Yeah, yeah so. so what made you want to get into the Top Chef world? Because it seems stressful. It is stressful. Um, <laughs> why I, did you want did that you, in your life? Why did I take that on? A little you, bit, you a little little bit, that little bit. Into your life. We do that in this yeah. industry. Um, we love. Yeah. The challenge. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it, I I didn't want to at first. I was really scared, but then that's kind of what made me want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, it's probably going to be one of the biggest challenges I've taken on, mm -hmm. and I've taken on a lot. Yeah. Um, and it was. But I feel like I grew a lot from the experience, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Anyone I've ever talked to is like. It was really hard, but I'm so grateful I did it. I grew so much as a person and as a chef. And I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I've pushed myself to that there limit. So. And so how do you think you grew? It really made me take a look at myself ah. and how I approach food. And I mean, you just, you really are in a state of overthinking all the time mm -hmm. and overanalyzing. Yeah. And so I think it, yeah, it definitely kind of made me take a step back a little bit and like reapproach how I want to be a chef, how I run a run my business. Adding that's more great. cheese yeah. to dishes because this top chef yeah. is in Milwaukee. So yeah. <laughs> that's what they like. Yeah. I love cheese, that so was, I wasn't mad yeah. about it. That so, was the takeaway. Yeah. Is this uh, some of the influence? Yeah. Are these changes or are these standard dishes? Some of these are dishes? new dishes, actually, yeah. that yeah. I came up Take with when through. I got back. Yeah. Okay. And tell us about Whisk the Night Away. Yeah. So I'll start over here. We'll try yeah. some. Yeah. Well, let's start over here because that's by us and we're yeah. going to okay. eat some. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. Okay, so the one over there, yeah. um, that is an, actually one of the newer dishes I've been working Ooh. on. It's a baked feta with oh, poached. Oh, the cheese. We know it. There you go, cheese. Mm -hmm. And now an interesting thing is you are a mm. private chef, so you don't yes. have a brick and mortar spot no. that you work out of. What, did you, what made you decide to go that route? Um, this is I'm, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's new, so any critiques, feel free to get yeah. it. We're no. Not, no, we're not in that business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to try it. No. Um, it was an accident. I started it during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot mm. of people say that. Because mm -hmm. um, I got laid off, and I was just like, you know, I want to stay busy. I don't, you know, mm -hmm. got to make money, but I also just, I don't want to stop cooking. And I never realized how much I would love it. I mm -hmm. always thought I would stay in restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's more comfortable, you have a space that you can work out of. Um, do you work for individual clients or events or both? Individual clients, mm -hmm. sometimes companies will hire mm -hmm. me for you know their events and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's open. I also do like meal prep for clients each week. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, and what is Whisk the Night Away? Great. That's the name of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I. It was so hard to come up with a name, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, but it's basically just like the night is what you want it to be. Uh -huh. yeah. I love that. And you will cater to them. Yeah. And Whatever and they want. They don't have to do anything, right? They you don't come have in, to do, do it all, and leave, and yeah. it's like you were never there. That's this is exactly excellent. what I always say. That's yeah. great. <laughs> this prosciutto really dish is wonderful. Thank you. So, real quick, take us through some of these other dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what the highlights are. So, that's going to be the grilled peaches with mm, prosciutto and a hot honey reduction, a little fresh mint. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have the mango and arugula salad with fresh avocado, um, tahini, mm -hmm. a little play on fruit and tahini, and mm -hmm. then a chili lime vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. This one is the roasted cauliflower. This is one of my favorites that I've mm. ever done. Can well, you do that. Okay. Can you said that. Let's do that. And then this last one. Uh, and this is going to be just a fresh heirloom tomato salad with Parmesan crisp Excellent. and dill. My food is very simple, but it's, I always say it's like simple but delicious. That's and elegant. Funny. I don't yes. want to do Love too it. much on the plate. I want the food to do the work. Thank um, you so much. Yeah. It looks, I mean, the, the food's doing the work mm. in my mouth right now. 